Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video I'm going to go over the Arduino substring. It's a fairly simple project, but if any of you follow me regularly, last week I didn't put out any videos because I had a week of failures, both technologically and just things just didn't work out. So I thought I'd do a couple easy ones this week. And I have had some questions on the substring. I've set up a string, I'm going to call it X, and the string is cheapcontrols.com rocks, because it does. And then I'm going to use a serial port just so I can use a serial monitor and show you what I'm doing with it. And just to start out, we're just going to print that string. And just to make sure everything works, we'll upload it. I've got an Uno set up for this one. I have the serial monitor set up over here, and it's printing it, and I've got a delay of three seconds. So every three seconds, it's going to print out. And now we'll start adding to the command itself. And I've set up a spreadsheet that has cheapcontrols.com rocks in it. And then I've broken it up by each character. And the first thing we're going to print is cheap. And that's going to be the substring 05. And the first digit in here, the first selector, is 0. And it starts with 0. It's 0 base, 0 through 24. But the second character is not 0 based. It starts with 1. So when we're looking for our substring, we're going to want 0 to the P, which is 5. So 0, 5. I'm going to refer back to this as I work through the video. So now we're going to serial print the X, but the substring of X, 0, 5. So we should see cheap. So I'm going to upload it. Clear the output, and there we go. We've got cheap, just like we would expect. For the next one, we're going to print out cheap, and then we're going to put a space, and we're going to put controls. And since the first one was 0 and 5 characters, for the second one, since it's 0 based, we're going to start at the 6 character, and we're going to print out 7 characters. We'll upload this and see what happens. And we got cheap and then an O. So that's kind of strange. Why would we get that? Let's go back to our sheet to find out. So the, the second character was 6 and 7. If we were to go over to the sixth character, 6, which would be the O, which that makes sense. Since it's 0 based, I should have put a 5. And then since the second number is the second number, is 7. It wasn't 7 characters, which would be this whole thing. It was to the seventh character. So we started at six, we ended at seven, and we got the O. So now cheap O makes sense. It should have been cheap five, and then a comma 13. So let's go back and replace that. So we'll make this five, and we'll make this 13. And you can see that I added this space right here. And you can add strings together in the Arduino by just using the plus sign, plus and plus. So now let's upload this and see if we get a better result. And you can see this is more of what we wanted, cheap controls. Now for this third one, I want to put cheap space control space rocks and 1925. If you can see 19 is the R, it goes to 25, which should be the exclamation point. It should work just fine. And we get cheap controls rocks. And the reason I wanted to do this and do this 19 to 25 was to show you something interesting about the substring. If you're going from a character to the end, you don't have to put the second character in. So what I mean is in this case I can get rid of the 25 because what it's going to do is it's going to go from 19 all the way to the end. When I upload this, you shouldn't see any difference. And as you can see, you still get cheap controls rocks, just like you did before. And just to show that a little more clearly, we're going to comment out everything. And we're going to print substring of zero. So substring of zero is just the same thing as printing the string itself. And you can see we get cheap controls rocks. It did not format anyway, it's just the string itself. 
For the final um, test, we're going to add some text with the substring. So in this case, we're going to print www.cheapcontrols.com because we're going to go to 0, 13, and 16, 9. We're going to go from 0 to 13, which starts at cheap and goes to the S, controls. And then we'll have to insert the dot, the period right here. And then we're going to go 16 to 19. So we're going to start up here at 16 and go to 19, which is C-O-M. And you can see we get www.cheapcontrols.com. The main reason I wanted to show you this or make a video on it is it's kind of strange that the first character or the first um, argument or attribute here is zero based and the second one isn't. When I first started doing this, I got a little bit confused. And then I thought, well, maybe this was the the number of digits. That's why I did that one ex I did that one example where I did 6 comma 7. Um, but you have to remember that it's just the starting point and the ending point and it's zero based for the first one and it's not zero based for the second one. Otherwise, substring is a very useful command. I use it all the time. If you've watched many of my videos, you've noticed that I use it quite a bit. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.